after the podcast last week came the news of some problems with LastPass. And there, it was a little muddied because there were two different researchers. Tavis got involved, our friend Tavis Ormandy, um, who took a look at LastPass. And uh, he, he tweeted that he had found something and was in communication with LastPass and they were working on it. Then separately, for an unknown reason, I don't know if it was just to get some click traffic or what, but a, another researcher uh, who had reported something a year ago that has long since been resolved uh, chose to freshly post the URL. And so that got everybody in a concern thinking that this was a new problem. Well, it, it wasn't a new problem. And in fact, we talked about it a year ago. So, so that, so there, but there was one thing that was interesting and new. Um, what LastPass wrote in their blog in two parts, the first part said, we want to share a quick update with the LastPass community about important fixes that we have made in response to two recent security reports. Now, that's a little odd because they said in response to two recent security reports, our team worked directly with the security researchers to verify the reports made and issue a fix to LastPass users. The recent report only affects Firefox users. If you're a Firefox user running LastPass 4.0 or later, an update will be pushed via your browser with the fix in version 4.1.21a. If you would like to update your client proactively, you can update with our download link here. And then they, it's lastpass.com, lastpass, FFX. I'm not sure why. Oh, Firefox fix, I guess. Uh, then they say, or, or just Firefox, FFX, Firefox. You can check which version you're running in your LastPass browser add-on under the more options menu about LastPass. If you're running LastPass 3.0, you are not impacted and do not need to update. Now, now, okay, so a little more information here. Uh, three, the three series is what Mozilla has available from download LastPass add-on. I was running version 3.3.1. So this never, and of course, as we all know, I'm still an avid Firefox user, but no one using Firefox or LastPass version 3. Point anything was ever in in danger. So this is there so something that they did only for the Firefox version in what when they went to version 4 caused this problem that Tavis found. Um uh, and they continue, other browsers are not impacted by this report and users do not need to take action for other browsers. As always, we appreciate the work of the security community, challenge, and so forth. And they said security, and then in, in their second portion, security is fundamental to what we do here at LastPass. Our first priority is always responding to and fixing reports as quickly as possible. In follow-up to recent news, we want to address in more detail two security reports that have been disclosed to our team. One report was disclosed yesterday, while the other report was responsibly reported and fixed over a year ago. So their initial statement was incorrect, that, that this was in any way something new that, that needed some attention. Uh, apparently, you know, as, as they said, it, that, that was long since fixed. Then they, um, and then they said, notably, mo both exploits do require tricking a user via a phishing attack into going to a malicious website. Um, and my interest in talking about phishing is, I mean, this is an interesting coincidence, but not my main focus. They said the first report was responsibly disclosed to our team over a year ago by security researcher Matthias Carlson and fixed at that time. Carlson recently posted his findings on the, on the URL parsing bug, which he had found. All browser clients were updated and Carlson confirmed our fix at that time, requiring no action from our users. So this was just old news that sort of recycled because he posted it, even though it had been fixed a long time ago. The second report they write was made yesterday 
by security team researcher Tavis Ormandy, who contacted our team to report a message hijacking bug that affected the LastPass Firefox add-on. First, an attacker would need to successfully lure a LastPass user to a malicious website. Once there, Ormandy demonstrated that the website could then execute LastPass actions in the background without the user's knowledge, such as deleting items. As noted below, the issue has been fully addressed and an update with a fix was pushed to all Firefox users using LastPass 4.0. So, you know, this is, as we know, this is the model for, in fact, this is almost better than the model. Uh, one of the things that I have the Tavis's disclosure, which he withheld uh, and, and this is all part of Project Zero that we've talked about often, where, you know, Google's Project Zero is looking for bugs not only in Google's stuff, but in, you know, el elsewhere in the industry. Um, he commented on and, and actually remarked about the speed with which uh, LastPass responded virtually immediately. Uh, and it was funny because in their standard boilerplate, they talk about, I don't remember now if it's 60 or 90 days, but you know they start a they start a clock as we've often talked about, and when that clock expires, this thing goes public, whether it's been fixed or not. And so Tavis uh, commented that I you know, <laughs> the clock is irrelevant in this case because it's already fixed. You know, before he got his posting done, it was it had been resolved. So, uh, so anyway, what what he found was um, a a way of of malicious script interacting with the JavaScript which the la which LastPass injects into a page in order to function under Firefox. The you know we don't yet have a standard for browser add-ons. So you know every browser exposes a different means for automating its functions. And uh and whatever they did in version four created this opportunity, which Tavis found, where a window was being created, which was used to pass messages to the add-on, and and if a if if malicious script from a malicious website uh, was targeting LastPass Firefox users. Uh, the, and while this was not fixed, then it would be able to essentially execute LastPass commands in the background. Um, again, uh, it's uh, it's really difficult to, especially in JavaScript land. It's it's why there you know there there have been postings on the net saying uh, you know JavaScript is harmful to security just be, because it, it's it's very tough to uh due to the nature of the javascript language which is you know was was designed a long time ago it, they're they're trying to increase the, the the security adding technology to create more containment but it's it's just difficult and and we have the problem that when you go to a website browsers download script from that website you know it's it's hard to find something that is more problematical. Um, anyway, I, I so this got fixed in as good a way uh, as you can imagine. And for what it's worth, anybody like me who stayed on version three was never in danger. This was a, a, a bug that got introduced for Firefox only when they, whatever they did to change it to version four. I did update to version four. The UI has changed. It sort of seems like it's running a little bit better for me. Um, so uh, I'm glad for that. Uh, and, uh, you know, bravo for LastPass continuing to do good by us. Uh, 